On Monday evening, during an interview with uh, former Democrat Tulsi Gabbard, who has now become just another right wing talking head, Tucker Carlson took a shot at Republican Representative Dan Crenshaw because previously on Fox News, Dan Crenshaw had taken a shot at Republicans who didn't want to send $40 billion in aid over to Ukraine and said that all those people are pro Russia. So Tucker Carlson, of course, trying to pretend that he's the anti-war candidate, not candidate, but personality, whatever it is. I don't even care anymore. Took a shot at Crenshaw. And this is what he said. The more I think about it, it takes a lot of gall for eye patch McCain to attack moms who are worried about baby formula as pro Russia. I patch McCain. That is the insult that Tucker Carlson leveled against Dan Crenshaw. Now there's a million things to go after Dan Crenshaw about. And I've talked about a lot of them sitting right here, talking to this very same camera, but the eye patch, uh, kind of off limits. And do you know why, by the way, it's off limits because people like Tucker Carlson several years ago, when Pete Davidson on Saturday night live made fun of Crenshaw, you know, mocked the eye patch thing. Uh, Tucker Carlson came out, did a segment where the on-air graphic read SNL sinks to new low by insulting wounded veteran from 2018, insulting a wounded veteran. So in four short years, Tucker Carlson has gone from how dare you insult a wounded veteran to saying, Hey, oh, I patch over here is really screwing up, calling everybody pro Russia, which of course, Tucker Carlson takes offense to because he has been called pro Russia. So has Tulsi Gabbard because they're basically parroting talking points that have been coming out of Russia. I mean, they're literally showing Tucker Carlson monologues on Russian state media because he's so pro Russia. They're using him as pro Russian propaganda. So of course he has to fight back and he has no factual basis to fight back. So he tries to fight dirty, goes to the personal insults, goes to the eye patch again, of all the things to criticize Crenshaw about the eye patch ain't one of them, right? The guy did lose his eye in active duty combat. Okay. You love him or hate him. That's something you gotta be like, okay, I respect that. I don't like you. I don't like your policies, but I do respect what you did. And I, you know, wish you hadn't suffered this horrific accident, but this is a new low, even for Tucker Carlson. You know, I'm not going to sit here and defend Crenshaw whatsoever. But what Carlson did here was absolutely wrong. And of course it shows that he has no real argument to make. You can be concerned about two things at once, by the way, Tucker, you can be like, yeah, we need to send 40 billion to Ukraine. But at the same time, we also need to be taking care of people here in the United States. You know, that's my take on the whole thing too. Am I happy that we sent 40 billion to Ukraine? Not exactly. But if it helps prevent Russia from overtaking the country, I guess I'm okay with it. I don't want Russia to succeed here at all. You know, there's a sovereign nation that was attacked. They need help. We're helping them. But at the same time, we got lots of people here that need help, but I can care about two things at once because I'm not a total moron, but apparently Tucker Carlson can't handle that. He can only have one thought in his little brain at a time. And apparently that one thought is how can I insult this man who just a couple years ago, I was going to the mat for because somebody made fun of his eye patch on a comedy show. Oh, how things have turned right. Tucker, you're right there doing the very thing you railed against. And of course, another one of the reasons Tucker Carlson wants to take a shot at Dan Crenshaw is because Dan Crenshaw's star has been rising for quite a while now. Right in the beginning, Crenshaw was a little bit, you know, with the Matt Gates and the Marjorie Taylor greens and all those, but in the last, you know, really 12 months, Crenshaw has kind of turned a corner. He is trying to market himself as the more reasonable Republican, you know, he still likes Donald Trump, but Hey, some of you folks out there, like your greens and your Gates and your Boberts, y'all are just interested in being famous. You're not interested in legislating. He's made some enemies but he's also gained some followers by trying to rebrand himself. And it appears to be working. Crenshaw setting himself up for a massive presidential run, if not in 2024, then definitely in 2028. 
And as I always like to point out, he wouldn't even be in Congress if he weren't serving in one of the most gerrymandered districts in the state of Texas that I got to say, ironically, is actually in the shape of an eye patch, which is kind of weird, but that's how it was gerrymandered. You got your big thing here and your little curvy part coming around the back. But Crenshaw's playing it smart. And Tucker Carlson going after him for the eye patch is only going to help boost Crenshaw's profile, just like it did when Saturday Night Live went after him too. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share. But again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.